Welcome to Little Diamond Jova Stories with me, Megan. And Little Diamond Jova Stories is all about learning a new story and doing some yoga poses as we go along. So copy the moves that I do and try to have some fun. Okay, let's start our yoga as we always do by crossing our legs, sitting on our bottoms and bringing our hands to our hearts. And after three, we'll say our yoga hello, namaste. One, two, three. Namaste. Now today's story is set in Africa and some of the animals in our story live on the African savanna. Let's lie down on our backs. Now the African savanna is a large area of dry grassland and there it's very, very so let's go into a hello sun salute. Standing up and bring your feet together. You're going to reach your arms out wide and lift them up to the sky. And when you get to the top, we're going to say, wave and say, hello sun. Taking our arms forward and bending down. We're going to look at the earth, wave and say, hello earth. Take our hands either side of our feet and take one foot back and then say beep beep. Well done. Take the other foot back and come to life on our tummies. Keeping our hands under our shoulders, we're going to push our bodies up and hiss like a snake. Then tuck under your toes. And take your hips and your bottom up into the air and woof, 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 like a dog. Now lift up one of your legs and wag it like your doggy's tail. And then take it up between your two hands and again say beep, beep. Bring your other foot forward, waving at the ground and say hello, uh. And then take your arms in front of you as you stand up, wave at the sky and say hello sun and then bring your hands back down to your heart. Well done, excellent sun salutes guys. Now the rest of our animals live in the forest alongside the savanna where there's lots and lots of trees. So let's go into our tree pose. Take one foot on top of the other and bring your hands to your heart and grow, grow, grow your tree and open your branches. Now let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And bring that tree down, keeping your hands together and swap your feet over and grow, grow, grow your tree on the other side. And let's carry on our counting to ten. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Well done. Now all the animals in our story, both the animals that live on the savannah and in the forest are all very important. We've got Liam the lion. Let's go into our lion pose. Coming onto your knees. And then we're going to tap our knees three times then lift ourselves up and roar like a lion. Just like Liam the lion. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Rah! Well done. Let's try that one more time on Liam the lion pose. One, two, three. Rah! Well done. We've also got Mia the macaw. Now the macaw is like a parrot. So standing up with your feet together and then bend forwards so you're looking at the ground. Let your arms fall in front of you and then lift your arms up to the side and back down again, flapping your wings for Mia the macaw. There's Eli the elephant standing back up. Take your legs wide and then put your arm as though it's growing from your nose like a trunk. We're going to go up and then bend down, stroking our trunk along the floor. And back up again for Eli the elephant and Gemma 
the giraffe. Bringing your feet together and then step one leg slightly forward. Take your hands up into the air, showing your tall giraffe or Gemma the giraffe. Well done. So we've got Liam the lion, Eli the elephant, Mia the macaw, and Gemma the giraffe amongst many other animals. Now all the animals in the savannah and the forest tend to stay with their families. Let's do a hug pose to show them with their families. Take your arms out wide, come on your knees, take your arms out wide and then wrap yourselves up in a big hug. And the animals don't speak to each other. To be honest, the other animals don't really like each other. In Africa, it doesn't rain very often. But early one morning, the rain starts to patter down. Pattering the rain over your head and over your face, over your shoulders, down your chest and your tummy and along legs down to your knees. The wind starts to blow. Standing up, take your legs slightly wide and your arms out wide and spin, showing the wind blowing. And the lightning starts to flash and the thunder starts to crash. Keeping your arms wide and after three, we're going to do a big crash by clapping our hands. One, two, three, crash! Well done, let's try that again. One, two, three, crash! Well done, one last time. One, two, three, crash! Well done. Liam the lion, let's go back into our lion toes, coming onto our knees. After three, we'll do arm roar. One, two, three. Bah! Liam the lion moves his family to some rocks that are overhanging, almost like a cave. Let's go into our cave pose. Coming onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under and lift your bottom to the sky into our cave pose. Liam checks his family are okay inside the cave and then goes back to sleep. Mia, let's go into our Mia McCaw pose, standing up with our feet together, bending forward, letting our arms drop down and flapping our wings. Mia flies herself to a branch under a large canopy of leaves. She is sheltered, so she sits there resting. Gemma giraffe, let's go into our giraffe pose, standing our feet together, take one foot slightly in front and lift your arms up. Gemma and her son find some trees to shelter under. Gemma leans up the tree, bring your feet together again, take your hands to your heart and take them above your head and then lean to one side. Gemma leans up the tree and her son leans up Gemma. Try leaning the other way. Gemma and her son are safe and keeping dry. Gemma stands calmly and relaxes because her and her son are okay. Now Eli and his wife are very excited. Let's go into our elephant pose, taking our legs wide, making our trunk going up and bending down to sweep the floor. Well done. Eli and his wife find themselves a big mud puddle. Let's go into our puddle pose, lying on our tummies, lifting our feet and then holding each of our ankles with our hands. As we breathe in, we're going to lift ourselves up into our puddle. Now this puddle has got very, very muddy. Eli and his wife go inside and they start spraying 
muddy water at each other, having lots and lots of fun. They are happy together, and so they are happy and not worried. All the animals feel safe and happy with their families. Let's open our arms and go back into our hug. Well done. During the storm, there's another animal running around, standing up and start running on the spot. Her name is Chloe the Chameleon. Now a chameleon is like a lizard. Let's go into our lizard pose. Coming down onto our hands and knees. Take one foot up between your hands and then straighten the leg that's behind you. Now take both of your hands next to each other on one side of your foot. Chloe the chameleon has noticed something coming onto your knees and get out your super spectacles. Chloe notices the rain has been falling for a very, very long time. The forest is starting to flood. Let's go back into our chameleon pose, onto your hands and knees, and this time bring your other foot in between your hands, straighten the leg at the back, and then bring your other hand round so your hands are together on one side of your foot. Chloe realises lots of animals and lots of homes are going to get destroyed in a flood. She must do something, and she must do something fast. She sits, come on to your bottom and cross your legs, and thinks. Rub your head to show your thinking, just like Chloe the chameleon. The animals need warning. Chloe needs someone loud. Rub your ears from the bottom to the top and back down again. Chloe realises that Liam the lion is very loud, but he's also very scary. But Chloe knows she must do this to save the animals and their homes. She takes three rainbow breaths. Take your hands up together above your head. And as we breathe in, we're going to open our rainbow. And as we breathe out, we're going to close our rainbow. And again. One more time. Well done. Now Chloe is feeling brave. She walks to Liam's cave. Standing up. We're going to take some big steps to Liam's cave. One, and the other foot. Two, three, one more, four. Chloe wakes Liam, lying on your backs, and hug your knees. As Liam wakes up, he rolls from side to side. Keeping your knees hooked as you roll from side to side. Chloe looks at Liam and says, come to your knees. Quick, you need to warn the animals. There's a huge flood coming. Liam roars at Chloe saying, no. So this time we're going to tap our knees three times and as we sit up we're going to shout no like a lion's roar. One, two, three. No! Then Liam turns to look away from Chloe. Take one hand onto your opposite knee and take your other hand behind you and look over your shoulder. Over his shoulder Liam sees his daughter Lily she says, come on, Dad, you've got to help. You need to help save the animals. Liam doesn't want to listen. Come back to the front. He looks over his other shoulder. Take your hand onto the opposite thigh and your other hand behind your back. Look over your opposite shoulder. 
Liam sees his son, Leo. Leo says, yeah, Dad. You're always telling us teamwork makes the dream work. You need to work as a team now. Coming back to the front. They are right. The animals must work together. Liam starts running to the forest. Up and running. Roaring really loudly to send out a warning. Suddenly he sees Mia standing with your feet together, bending forward and flap your wings. Liam tells Mia to fly fast through the forest to warn the animals and tell them to get to the great tree group where giraffes will be waiting to help. Standing back up, let's go into our giraffe pose. Take one foot forward, lift your arms above your head. As Mia flies through the forest, calling her warning, the other animals hear. Rub your ears from the bottom to the top and back down again. When they hear Mia's warning, they run to the great tree group where they see the giraffes and then they climb up the giraffes, up their legs, onto their backs and then up their necks to the great trees, staying there for safety. Now one more animal needed speaking to. Liam went to see Eli. Take your legs apart, get out your trunk and go up into the air and then bending down to touch the ground with your trunk and standing back up again. After Liam has spoken to Eli, the elephants get to work. They walk into the forest, getting out your trunk, bending forward. As they suck in the water through their trunks, we're going to take a big breath in and stand up. Big breath in, sucking up the water through their trunks. Then they carry the water all the way to the top of the river where they breathe out and let all the water out of their trunk, bending forwards. From there, the water is washed away, standing back up. All the animals decided to work together and that helped keep them and their homes safe. Let's go into our house pose. Bring your feet slightly together, but still keep them apart a little bit. Take your hands to your heart a little above your head into our house pose. Well done. Now from that day to this one, the animals all get on a little bit better. Coming down onto your knees. When they see each other, they'll speak and say, hello. Bringing your hands in front of your mouth and breathe in through your nose. And then as we breathe out, we're going to blow our words to our other animal friends. And again, breathing in and out. Breathing in again and out. Well done. They also wave at each other. Take both your hands in the air and wave them from side to side. And all of the animals will look out for each other and care for each other, taking your arms out wide and bring yourself back into that hug. Well done. Now let's lie down on our backs. Taking our feet slightly apart and our hands by our sides. What a lovely story about teamwork. First, the animals kept themselves to themselves and didn't get on with each other. But when they needed to, they realised that teamwork did make the dream work. Sometimes we can achieve things on our own. But sometimes, to achieve something, we need to work as a team. Well done to all of the animals. And well done to Chloe, the chameleon for reminding them they needed to come together. And of course, Liam's daughter Lily and his son Leo, who made sure their dad followed 
his own advice. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Lift up your knees and give them a hug. And roll onto your side and push yourselves up onto your bottoms with your legs crossed. Bringing your hands to your heart. And after three, we'll say our yoga goodbye. Namaste. One, two, three. Namaste. Thanks for joining me, Little Diamond Yoga Stories today. See you again soon.